Good afternoon and well, welcome to beautiful Pickett, Wisconsin on this uh, April 7th afternoon. It is sunny and it's a glorious day. It's about 48 to 50 degrees, very light winds. You hear a motorcycle, so you know the weather is nice in Wisconsin if you hear a motorcycle. And it's just a spectacular day to run an engine. And that's what we're going to attempt to do here. What I've got on the stand here is the brand new, never before seen fuel, never run ASP46 ABC engine. Now, this is the same type of engine that I had many, many years ago. This engine was last featured on my channel, I think, basically a long time ago, 2015, 17, I don't know, years ago. Now, the thing with this engine is, it's an ABC and it's a pretty tight engine. It's pretty tight because I think of the fact that the oil from the factory has congealed in there a bit and it probably could benefit from being heated up a little bit. I don't have a heat gun nor do I have a means to heat it up. I'm hoping, really hoping that my tar starter can turn this thing over because it's really tight and I've got the glow plug loosened up a bit. So what you're probably going to see me do I wish I just had some straight oil. I was just gonna say, I was just gonna put some oil in here and just spin this thing over and see if I can free it up. What I might do is prime the engine and put some fuel in it and then disconnect the fuel line and then with the glow plug loosened, spin it over just a little bit. You're not really supposed to do that with an ABC engine, but damn, I don't know if my starter's gonna be able to turn this thing over and with as tight as this thing feels, I'm not sure I'd even be able to hand start it with a stick. So I'm gonna do what's necessary, or at least within the bounds of reason on my part to see if I can get this thing to start. But it is so tight right now that, and I'm not pulling it through top dead center, I'm just kind of going back and forth and it's tight. So we're, we'll see, but hopefully, Hopefully you're going to see a run of this ASP46 engine for the first time. That's the goal. So, the parameters are I've got 7 to, I don't know, 5 to 7 percent nitro fuel. I've got a 10.6 APC prop. And what I've got installed here is a Fox RC Short glow plug. Basically about the same size and it looked like about the same glow heat range as an OS number 8. So, I'm just going to try this for starters and see what happens. So let's just try and start this engine. Okay, uh, let's see here. We'll prime it here first. My hands tighten the plug back and see if it'll take a prime. So there's fuel in there. I'm gonna disconnect the fuel line now, leave the throttle fully open, and the plug most of the way out and see if I can get this thing to turn over. Okay, that's all I need to know. We'll be able to start the engine now. That's all I needed to do. Now let me go right through the camera, tighten this glow plug, get the nice starter, connect our fuel lines up, and run this engine. Now, I preliminarily set the needle valve before I came here. So let's see what it's at. One, two, so it was two turns. One, two, I'm gonna go two and a quarter or so first. Now, let's fire it up.
thought I had a screwdriver that I could open this thing up with, but this throttle set screw is very, very tight for some reason. It's obviously idling way too high. Damn it. Anyway. Okay, so there you go. There's the first run of the, the break-in run for the ASP46 ABC engine. Now, I've read several different ways to break in ABC engines, true ABC engines, and most of them say to you know bring it up to a, a pretty rich, a, a rich two-stroke, not a blubbering four-stroke, but a rich two-stroke, and you could kind of hear when it was around 11,000, it was kind of pop, pop, pop a little bit, and that's when I would bring it up and get it warm because these ABC engines, the true ABC engines, really need heat to break in properly. If you break them in rich at all, you've destroyed the engine. So you pretty much run these things pretty close to peak right out of a chute. Now I wasn't going close to peak because I know this thing will peak at well over 14,000 RPM with a 10.6 prop, even though the instructions for this engine say the RPM range is like 2,000 to 12,000, whatever. Anyway, so this engine is well on its way to being broke in, but I have to get a Phillips head, the proper size Phillips head screw driver, because for some reason that throttle set screw or idle stop screw is really, really tight. And I couldn't just uh, close it or pull it out anymore and close the throttle so I could get a, a decent idle. So that'll have to be for the next run. Now, what's destined for this engine is I'm probably going to pull the carb. Actually, I'm going to go to my truck, see if I can get a different screwdriver, make an adjustment on that, pull the carb, and put this carb on the Weber Speed 61 engine and run that one again.